On February 24, 1969, Felix Rodriguez raised his right hand and swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States. He was now an American citizen. Within the year, he was in Saigon, South Vietnam. He did not have to go. He volunteered, wanting to give back to his new country, his new home. An agent with the CIA, working with the U.S. Army, his job was to advise South Vietnamese forces as they fought to save their country. It was a job he relished, having been forced to flee the country of his birth. Felix Rodriguez was born in Havana, Cuba, May 31, 1941. His earliest memories were of news from the front lines of World War II and the Allies' fight against Hitler. In his teens, he was given the choice to attend high school in the U.S., a decision that would change his life. On New Year's Day, 1959, communist revolution in Cuba swept the dictator out and Fidel Castro in. On vacation in Mexico, Felix's parents had their home in Cuba appropriated. They would never see Cuba again. However, Felix Rodriguez would return. At school in the U.S., the refugee would soon be recruited by the CIA, training with fellow Cuban exiles in a secret unit known as Brigade 2506. In early 1961, he was smuggled back into Cuba to coordinate with the resistance. Soon after, President Kennedy approved the operation that would be known as the Bay of Pigs invasion. The invasion failed, cementing Castro's power and leaving Felix a man without a home. He evacuated to the U.S. and embarked on a CIA career that would take him around the world. In 1967, the 26-year-old agent was ordered to Bolivia to advise and assist in its search for the famed Marxist revolutionary Che Guevara. Che had trained the men who fought Brigade 2506 at the Bay of Pigs and was now seeking to bring revolution to Bolivia. Felix's orders were to find and capture his old adversary, then bring him out alive. After Che was captured, Felix was brought to an old schoolhouse where he found him bound and tied and refusing to speak with his mocking captors. Alone with Che, Felix had him untied and asked if they might speak man to man, soldier to soldier. They spoke of philosophy, of life, of death. Soon, Felix received word that despite his pleas, the Bolivian government had ordered Che executed. Felix delivered the news, which Che accepted with courage. He then gave Felix his pipe, a gesture of respect for a soldier who had shown him respect. It was a lesson Felix would carry throughout his career. Be it friend or foe, trust is earned through respect. Now in Saigon, the new American devoted himself to the Vietnamese he advised. He demanded they receive the same equipment and medical care as the Americans. He fought at their side and flew nearly 300 helicopter missions being shot down five times. Only injuries sustained in battle could pull him away from the men he had grown to admire. Felix Rodriguez would be awarded the South Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry nine times. He was also awarded their Naval Medal of Honor. He is among the most decorated agents in CIA history, receiving the agency's rarely awarded Intelligence Star for Valor. Once a man without a home, Felix Rodriguez became an American by choice. Yet it was a choice made easy. For all its flaws, in no country on earth will a man find respect as in the country Felix Rodriguez chose to call home.